Welcome! I've gotten a lot of questions about the beehive or things in the beehive, so I thought I'd take you along today for a detailed look at all my stuff up there. Um, I, I'm a firm believer in surrounding myself with memories and beautiful things and things that make me smile. And so my beehive is probably not... Marie Kondo maybe would not think, or maybe she would think, I am sparking a lot of joy up there. So come along with me. So as you head up the stairs, my beehive is actually located above our garage. So this is the only second floor to our house is this one portion. And um, my sewing room's up there, so let's head up. I have lots of little quilts hanging on the wall going up. And then this quilt is really special to me. It was an ex a row exchange by my uh, stitch group, the Fabric Stalkers. And we each made one row and then passed it around. Uh, and the theme for my quilt was to have them make a row when they were thinking about me. And so I made this row. For a long time she flew when no one was watching and then they had to make all the other rows. And it is my most precious quilt. So I keep that hanging up. And then we come around the corner and there's a shelf that begins all of the things that I, the beauty and things that I love around. A drawing that a man did overseas of my mother and I. And here we are, heading into the beehive. I've always liked cross stitch. My friend Robin was the one that taught me. So I have lots of cross stitch around and also lots of things that friends have stitched for me. At the top of the stairs is my parents' stove. This was also the stove that G and I used when we first got married. Now it's just a display area for more pretty things. Yes, it is still raining. I love this. This was, G found this bottle buried out in the woods and then collected these things that he saw on the ground and made me an arrangement. <laughs> Here's my sewing table. a Janome sewing machine and uh, my big board ironing board which I attached to the top of a cabinet so that I had more storage because I need more storage. <laughs> I use a magnetic strip to hold my scissors and little canisters for pins and bobbins and that kind of thing. And then my cutting table is um, G's old um, drafting table when he was a young man. Lots of fun things. Things made by people, friends. I use plastic bins underneath uh, the cutting table for more storage. And then my rulers are up there. 
all the races I ran when I was running, my design wall that is waiting for a new project, and then the stash closet. You don't want to go in there, do you? Nah, we'll skip that. <laughs> I know you guys are wanting to see that. So let's go in there. Yes, I keep my fabric by color or theme. Batting. The bins are all uh, filled with wool. And the project boxes are filled with things somewhat in progress. And yes, there are a lot of them. This quilt was made by my friend Robin. And no, there is no pattern for it. She made it up because she is talented. But it is very cute. My bookcase is filled with patterns I want to make, books I have a desire to make, everything in them, bins of scrap wool, books, memorabilia. There's me when I was skiing. A chair for stitching if I wanted to stitch up here. Enzo's quilt, I still keep it up here. Family photos. And those photos are on a piece of bed spring so I can just kind of stick them on there. It's kind of fun to exchange them and not to have all the frames. And then above the window I have mini quilts or cross stitch. The Sweet Sixteen sits over in this corner. Nice and light. And then on this wall here is a rack that was made by a, a quilter that I used to quilt with in Bend. Her husband built these. And on this rack I have quilts that are either need to be quilting, they're just tops, or the binding needs to be put on them and they're already quilted. So as you can see, there's layers in there. Fun things cross stitch up on top. Buttermilk Basin, family memorabilia, my dad's baby shoes, my grandmother's perfume bottle, Harry Turpin house, and I don't know where you can get those now. I'm not even sure he's doing it anymore, but I sure do love mine. And then in this cabinet, is my needle turn applique. I have a light and my thread storage. So I have quite a bit of storage in, in interesting little spots. And I display some packets of fabric and buttons. This child's desk is my hexy station where all things hexy happen. And so there you go. So if I were to turn slowly around the room, this is it. This is my little slice of heaven on earth. And just to show you what I've been up to, I finished my storybook quilt. Stacy, um, it's a Stacy West design that I enhanced. And then she and I <coughs> made the label, signed the label. And so this will be auctioned off at the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show. 
Oh, I sure would like to have this one. It's called Earl's Truck. And I did finish my little nephew's son's Harry Potter quilt. And to wrap up a little bit about this quilt, what I ended up doing is I ended up in the border using navy blue thread to script write all the spells uh, around the border. And the reason I did that was because I wanted it to show up just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So I used navy blue thread. And it it is ready to go. <laughs> I can't believe I pulled this off. But I was pretty motivated. He just is such a sweetheart. So I um, got her done. So I guess that's it. This is my life when I'm up here. Nice and bright. And I, uh, whenever I'm doing things up here, I think about all of you. And I'm grateful for the time you spend with me here. And I hope that we can meet someday down the road or at the meet and greet uh, in Sisters uh, on the day of the quilt show. So I'll keep you posted on that. Thank you. Thank you again. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe on Quilt Roadies.